Hey everyone, this is a, a quick tutorial on how to set up an approval process. So if you actually go into your settings tab, it will bring you to this screen and under process management you will see an approval process. So before we get into that, let's take a look at what we might want to do this for. So in this sample implementation of Zoho, it is set up for a basically a marketing firm, a design firm. So I'm going to go into this process right here, uh, this deal, and you can see we've got the account brief, then the research is done, target audience definition, media selection, design copy and draft. So let's say by the time it gets here it needs to now go to the next step of iteration, meaning you're going to make some changes to the design copy and draft. But maybe before a person can just automatically click it and take it to this stage and then maybe move it all the way to execution, you want to review it in this iteration stage. So you actually can set up an approval process that says, look, I want to review this before we go to iteration and then to execution and down the line. So the way you do that is you'll go to settings and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on this approval process and you're going to go ahead and add an overall approval process. You're going to choose your module. In this case, it's a deals module. And we'll call this iteration approval. And we're going to do it on a record edit. And we're going to go ahead and add a rule to this process. So what we're going to say is when the stage is, and at this point we're going to go design, copy, and draft. Okay, when it gets to move to that, then who should approve? And we're going to go with a specific user, and we'll go with Zenata, the super admin. Um, you can even assign a task at this point in time, letting him know that it needs to be approved. And then the action upon approval will be a uh, field update. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to update the stage to iteration because we've now made that. That's going to be fine. Um, and then actions upon rejection, you can go ahead and set that as well, which would be you basically can send an email notification or update the fields or whatever, send an email to somebody, select a template saying, look, this isn't good enough. There's a variety of things you can do here. Um, you say, great, I'm done. If I approve it, I'm going to move it to this stage. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that now. And now we're going to go back to that same deal which is uh, sitting here in the stage of design, copy, and draft. Okay, I'm going to move it back to media selection for a bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move it to design, copy, and draft. And you'll notice now it changes. Uh, you can't take it to the next level. It's actually waiting for approval. Now, since I'm actually logged in here as myself, um, you know, I actually can go ahead and approve it myself since I've logged in it that way. But one of the other things you'll notice is once you set up this approval process is that you'll have this notification under my jobs as to things that you need to approve. And you'll see that there's an approval process here and you've got the deal. You can go ahead and review it. And once you're done, you can just go ahead and approve that say looks great or reject it with comments whatever you want to do once you approve it now it's all approved and if we go back to this deal and we look at printing dimensions we will see it's now moved into the iteration stage so it's no longer locked really easy they can get very complicated you can call workflows custom functions there's a million things you can do with these but approval processes are really really important especially when you when a deal or a client gets to a particular stage where you want to you want to really take a hard look before you go any further we hope you found this helpful thank you for listening